of time to establish to that. Yeah. yeah. All right. So th this this is this is my paradigm shift. This is the way I've been preparing for this paradigm shift for 17 years. Mm -hmm. uh, my entire home is sustainable. It's off grid. And um, I have six water tanks. I have complete water, uh, complete space heating. I'm off grid. I use um, pellets to heat the house. I have photovoltaic um, panels on the roof and also tubes to heat the water. I have biodynamic vegetable, organic vegetable gardens, which we eat from. I, I dehydrate food. I ferment the food. I do um, kefir. I um. I have in garden is indigenous. I, I basically live in a in a forest that I created in the city. It's a 21 year old forest, mm -hmm. and I have bird life. The birds fly sometimes. They fly from the coast to my property. So I have even oh, nice. coast. Yeah. So um, my my perspective was to get back to my organic self. Mm -hmm and um, my original organic self and um, impart that knowledge to people. Mm -hmm. I picked up this book, um, The Turning Point, um, about, I think I was about, let me just think how old I was, I was about 22, 22 or 23. And I bought this book, The Turning Point. And I think that combined with everything else, um, I, I did a lot of Rudolf Steiner studying. Mm -hmm. and I've done Sufism as well, and also um, Ayurvedics. I've, I've been to Russia twice, and I've, I've I studied um, a lot with the human genome in mm -hmm. Russia. And I, I was actually looking to see if they had similar devices to our our devices but they don't but I went there especially looking to see what they were doing in the quantum field but anyway and then I produced a, this range of food state nutrients which take the best herbs and foods um, from the world mm -hmm. and I put them into special um, cleanse and restore special nourishment special things to produce um, a higher and an improved DNA genetic structure and immunity in our bodies. So mm -hmm. I've put together this nutraceutical range, um, which Des is going to put on the matrix as well. And um, I've, yeah, and then also regarding the East, um, mm -hmm. my, my newest place is going to be um, the Dao Garden in, in Thailand. And there's a gentleman there, Mantak Tia, and I've got a lot I'm of a lot of with his, I'm familiar yeah. with his teachings. Perfect. So you see, we are on the same page. And mm -hmm. um, yes, I would like to go there at some stage, and um, and I would like to go to that dark, the dark space. Mm -hmm. mm, that will be very transforming. So um, anyway, that's just a, you know a summary of where where I've come from, and regarding also my practice. Um, mm -hmm. And we can say that the future is now. So then the golden dawning of the new paradigm and um, the, the, the whole um, essence of this is, 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 in, is, is, is anchored in health because this is where the biggest problem happened, the biggest mm -hmm. um, deviation mm -hmm. in humanity. Yeah. Um, we can save food as well. Um, but this, that same thing is linked to health. It's, the, it's just the worst thing that in any case, it doesn't matter because you know what? We, we're living now, so we had to experience it. Right. Um, you know, so now we're focusing. It's just, I mean, look at my slides, the right to be well. And Desi's saying, talk about wellness. Don't talk about the, <laughs> the sickness. It's, it's about mm -hmm. the wellness. Right. So um, the future is now, and let's restore this on every level um, and you see that even the World Health Organization they have a definition and they speak about our right to be well and to be healthy and they are now also recognizing a lot of the traditional and complementary health categories 
the national health bodies are also, and I think even more so now with, with COVID and lockdown, um, the patients that I'm sure are coming to you as well, they've spent a lot of time on Dr. Google. In many instances, the patients that come to me are um, more advanced than the, the, the general practitioner. They know more. They know way more about nutrition um, and food. And um, I find the gaps there is to teach them detoxification. So a lot of them don't realize the, uh, the damage that um, wrong foods and toxins are, are having on the immunity and the genetic structure. And this, this COVID virus is basically a genetic fragment that is, is wrongly encoding our DNA. Wow. So that's why my product, the RNA DNA product that I have with the five um, uh, nutraceutical proteins inside it, come and restore the DNA. And it will restore the DNA from the harshness of radiation and x-rays and, and everything else, even stress. So that product I actually found in Russia, the RNA DNA product, it doesn't come from there now, but I was exposed to it first when I went to Russia. So if we want to be in the quantum space, Buren, um, we need to understand a couple of things. We need to understand the golden mean, the golden mean spiral, because the golden mean spiral is absolutely what we're doing in the quantum space. It's, it's actually exactly what you're doing with your patients in the heart space. We need to get the, the golden mean of ourselves, of our body electric, of our resonance, perfect. And we need to move off everything that can damage that golden mean. So the golden mean you'll see in shells, you'll see it in um, flowers, you will see it in pine cones. Um, when, a, when a fern unfolds, you'll see it in nature. So that golden mean is there, and that's the picture we have to have in our head when we are restoring, whether we're using the, the QUEX or the Eductor, whether we're using food state nutrients, whether we're working in the heart space as healers. What are we doing? We're restoring that golden mean. We're fixing the knee. We're restoring the golden mean in the knee area. All right, the old paradigm is based on reductionism, breaking things down into the smallest, smallest part and treating that only, looking at that only as a scientist, um, even financially looking at the smallest, smallest part and academically and not looking at the whole. Okay, and that's caused the problem. And it, it's Newtonian, it's Descartes, it's those kind of um, researchers. It's their space. Rather than an Einstein, quantum, um, Tesla, De Dubonnet kind of a space. Okay, and that is holism. So the COVID-19 has pushed us into chaos. The economy's pushed us into chaos. Environments has pushed us into chaos. It's devastated. I mean, the animals and the environment are basically a refre reflection of our soul, the human soul. Yeah. And um, it's not about fixing the environment and fixing nature and, and, and that the soil, the soil, all of that will regenerate. We need to fix ourselves. We need to fix our own soul and our own spirit. And that's from on a spiritual level. Education wise, now everything shifted as well. We've done lots of damage with reductionism. We've taught children very poorly at school. We haven't really equipped them to, to, to operate in a holistic space. We, we, we teach, taught them just to be an engineer, just to be a, a medical, just to be a, a, a teacher, for example. And we never really taught them holism either. So, um, I mean, a lot of children don't even know where the food comes from, for example. So the teaching has been a big, big problem. And it hasn't produced people that can think properly. It's just um, indoctrinated people, really. So that's where the ecology comes in, living in the home. And I think with COVID and lockdown, it's taught us a lot more about our home. And I'm very pleased about that. And I'm... I'm going to be doing a whole lot of ecology courses myself as well. Um, 
and um, looking at sustainability from that point of view. Intellectually, we've been challenged that relates to the um, e uh, education as well. Emotionally, we've been really, really damaged as well because all the tests were focusing on IQ. None of them looked at EQ, none of them looked at wellness coefficient, none of them looked holistically either. So every child was value, evaluated on, on IQ. And um, this caused big damage in the classrooms. It still has with, with attention deficit and children that want to learn in a different way, that need to learn in a different way. So hopefully this chaos is going to rectify a lot of this and obviously our physical health. So when you read the system's book and Fidget Capra, right? Fidget Capra wrote these books. When you read these books, you understand interconnectedness and interdependence. And that is holism. And that's what Daisy talks about. That's the quantum. That's the doctor. It, it, it works uh, physically, emotionally, neurologically, and spiritually, holistically. When she puts a product on the matrix, it's the whole product. The effect on the physical, neurological, emotional, and spiritual aspect of the body via that product. When they do the QQC, they're bringing the whole lot in. So, um, removal away from reductionism and then here we have a look also some more so some more information here um regarding the world health organization and, and we're seeing a lot of collapse right now with false reporting and the people who've been paying them and supporting them um we see ourselves hospitals were were overflowing uh, mental hospitals in particular, and that's a very, very big problem. The amount of people on, on antidepressants, anxiety products, the number of doctors that are depressed and commit suicide is higher than the normal population. Male doctors um, have a 40% higher incidence of suicide than the normal population. And um, uh, female doctors have a 130% higher suicide rate. So it's chronic and it's related to the conveyor belt 15 minute appointments mm -hmm. because they know they're not able to help patients. Yes. Yeah. Excuse me, can um, you hold, hold on for one minute? My, I have to plug in my laptop. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, the electricity is going on, off. Sorry about that. Yeah. That's okay. 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 And, you know, as I said, um, there are three times more medicine being prescribed now than there were over the, the last 15 years. And, um, you know, this is, this is, this is terrible. And it's just, really reached like i think a breaking point regarding the pharmaceutical industries and things but they still have lots of power right now they are they are detect dictating this whole lockdown they are part of the decision making so they have a lot of power in my country in my country luckily not but in your country yes and the states um uk eu uh, eu um yeah most of europe yeah Definitely Europe. Europe, I think, is about the worst. Yeah. And, you know, for, for me, I want to go and work in the, in the north because I just see it as my space. But, um, you know, to get hold of products, and, and that is going to be a problem on that level. But um, anyway, let's see. I was due to go. Um, to, I was spent a lot of time in the UK already, and I was due to be there now before lockdown. But now, I'm, and now I'm here, and I think I'm actually happier here. Um, I don't think I'd want to be in the UK right now. Yeah. But anyway, I am where I am, and it's fine. And it sounds like where you are is fine as well. Yes. Yeah. And people like us need to be in stable places right now. We can't be in in the in the the three th three dimensional ego space. We need to be able to come away from it and be in the in the soul space. Yes. 
<laughs> I just want to open the door for the dog. Hold on. Okay. Otherwise, she's going to bark. All right. So what I'm saying to you, saying to you, saying is that let's, um, you know, let's we we need to transform the world from the space, from a, a space where we're not getting sidetracked and sucked into back into the reductionism. I mean, too much has happened right now for us to move back into that total reductionism, but it's still there, and I think that it's going to be stages, and. Um, pure and in order for a paradigm shift, we need massive amounts of chaos. We need it on every level so that um, all the structures can break down and the new structures can be built. Now, this is in the stars. It's in the astrology already, whether there was COVID or not or, or 5G or not. It was already in the stars. And the time before when it was in the astrology was in, in the industrial revolution because this is revolutionary where we are right now and i just find interrupt me you can speak it's only you and me it's fine um i just find that um that uh oh, i forgot what i was gonna say right now but um i just just find that yes it, it, it's a revolutionary but it's actually doesn't have to be revolutionary it's kind of um constructive deconstruction and then rebuilding up again it can it's evolutionary we can choose so we can choose the e ego root or we can choose the soul root so right. the soul root is the buddha root it's the um the asking questions why what's the purpose of this what's the purpose of the lockdown the covid the the change the paradigm shift and we know the purpose because the old was dying I don't think our physical bodies have been as bad as this since before um, we had the historical, um, the, the Christ element that came through. You know what I mean? I don't think our bodies have been in such bad condition, <laughs> put yeah. it that way. Yeah. So, and from what I understand is that when the, that Christ element came, uh, the, the bodies were renewed. So we basically back to that sort of a space um and i mean i'm not fixated on any one person or thing but i think that's historically a good good space to be in there so mm, um people have never been um more nutrition deficient they've never been this many amounts of toxins causing what they call genotoxicity toxin to the genes and that's my passionate space because Purin, if we don't protect the DNA of our own species, we will be an endangered species. We won't be able to live. And um, what I'm seeing now is downward spirals. In Instead of other children being more clever and more advanced than their parents, um, we, we, don't always witness, we don't always witness this because they've eaten poor food. They haven't been nurtured. They've been stuck in front of computers. So for me, um, I want to protect the genetic structure of humanity. And that is where, as I say, this COVID disturbs me personally because no one's really talking about the damage to the d DNA. Mm -hmm. and, and this is actually the... This is actually not um, the, the... I wonder... It's not totally the universe's plan, I don't think, to, to, to talk make our genetics toxic and weak i don't believe that i believe it's to make it stronger but we do have these the these elements that are coming in and we need to be aware and anyway we can debate that as well so yeah unhappiness and we need to move from illness to wellness not just symptom free completely well we know that and the other interesting thing in our favor right now is that the wellness industry is growing at 10% versus the global economy, which is stagnating at minus 3.6%. That's in 2017. 
So 18, 19, 20 before lockdown would have been a further decline. So wellness is the space to be. Um, you know a lot about um, food supply, genetically modified foods. So genetically modified is basically a COVID. COVID is genetically modified and it's modifying our genes. And if we eat the genetically modified food, again, our genes will get modified. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm so grateful for the DNA panel on, on our device and because we can actually um, keep building it up and keep repairing. Do you go there very often? Yes. Yeah, okay, perfect. Most of the so, time so, for all my clients, I do that. Yeah, me too. Me too. That uh, the trivector and the DNA, meridians, hyperreactants, trivector, um, the DNA, I always try and fit all of that in. Yes. Mm. And I do the karma thing as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do that when I when I'm doing the DNA. I do ancestral clearing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I take the same frequency, almost like a prayer, and back along the ancestral lines. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because oh. yeah, that's you see, that's where when we came in from the morphogenic field, we 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 are perfect. We are perfect in the morphogenic field. Right. When we come in, we hit the ancestral patterns that are disturbed and then we in the environmental patterns that are disturbed mm -hmm. so um we then spend our life um restoring um ourselves back to at least back to the morphogenic field but hopefully more than mm -hmm. so i wonder how many people are leaving the earth right now that are in a in a, in a higher state than they came in in the first place see yeah. Mm. So that's what we want to focus on is, is, is being the very best expression of ourselves on a, our physical, but obviously um, neurologically, emotionally, and spiritually as well. And we need the food to do that. Right. Part. And then here's a small note on, on reductionism. I've talked a little bit about it. Um disconnected pieces though those days are over right now the independent parts is over and that old biomedical model is over right now um and bringing back into the human touch and compassion now i must tell you our these slides were done before i mean desi and me only really although i've known her for many years um we are it only really time wise really sort of blossomed and I don't even know how it happened. I think I called her and I said to her, listen, we've got to do something. <laughs> I can't even remember how this thing started. But my slides were done before is the point I'm making. Mm -hmm. So, so you have I want to passion there. Yeah. And it's in my research. I've already, it's my, my doctorate. I already have yeah. it written in my doctorate. Happiness, mm. compassion, transcendence, um, joy you know these higher frequencies yeah. but but i did use her research in my doctorate i've used her research mm -hmm. right so we're leaving the reductions and we're going to holism and this is now the dawning of the new paradigm shift and we talked then about um desi was talking and we were talking about healing interdependent interconnectedness without without the words we are already connected the dog knows when you're coming home that's that's high level of interconnectedness but we do well i'm i'm sure you as well when you do your assessments um don't you also get the feeling that you're helping humanity it's you and the patient but you're actually helping humanity exactly yeah so um there you have it. It's already in already in, in our courses. The four kingdoms that we're dealing with, the soil, the plants, the animals, and the humans, we are all interconnected. Look at those whales in that thing that I posted today. Interconnected. If we damage the whales, there's going to be a re repercussion. If we love the whales, there's going to be a repercussion positively. Um, and, the, and not to forget that these four kingdoms are really governed by the cosmos. Mm -hmm. 
Right. And the rest I've done, but uh, the last point about living our purpose is when we've understood and we've got a handle on the golden mean and the unfoldment mm -hmm. within mm -hmm. the DNA, because that DNA right. the, is yeah, like the chakras, it's all doing that golden mean. And the golden mean is over all the pictures on, the, <laughs> on our software. This is, this is it. And when we're there, we can then live our purpose. Mm -hmm is something else I'm fixated on. I want I want people to live their purpose. We can't be in jobs that aren't serving us. We can't be in, you know, um, environments that are not serving us because we're not going to be able to live our purpose and then we've wasted the life. Mm -hmm. So here's the quantum interconnectedness and interdependency. And you're going to read a lot about this in this book. Um, you're going to be quite an expert in, in the quantum um as a result of this course which is going to be fantastic because it's going to help and give the background a lot to also what daisy's been saying from einstein's point of view from relativity time and space where matter is in particles so that whole double split experiment with particles and waves um the um kinetic um Potential energy moving into kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is we're doing stuff. So we move from the potential into the, the doing space. Um, the Bohm work, the zero-based non-locality, she spoke about it already on Saturday. This is, this is, this is a subspace. We are working actually in the morphogenic field, the morphogenic field where we came from. And... Um, yeah, I experienced quite a lot of that in Russia as well, just the people that I met. So that was very, very interesting. Um, that means that our subconscious is everywhere, which you know. And um, we need to, we need to um, raise the bioresonance, raise the vibration of matter so that it's dynamic matter, not hard-casted um, like it's been. So the effect now of... of of the old Saturn structure and the Pluto coming in as a, as a planet to, to constructively deconstruct the Saturn and to allow us to rebuild. Whether we like it or not, it's going to happen. It's happening. And they're the people that I speak about, and there's Sheldrake, and what does Desiree do yesterday speaks about Sheldrake. So it's just so synchronous. It's amazing. And that uh -huh. product... Um, is something that I make alchemically from salt. And this is a product that um, Lynn McTaggart in the field and her recent books together with Bohm and Einstein talk about these um, three-dimensional M-state mineral metals. And they, are, they hold the quantum space. Those are particles moving very, very fast in very high vibration, very quick electron spin. And when you consume those particles, your resonance increases immediately. It's instant. And the, the wise sages of the past would consume almost gold, go and sit on the mountain, download the universal information, and come and give it to the tribe. So um, that's, that's a product that I use. I, I religiously, I take that product every single day of my life. My nails are hard. I've regrown uh, tooth enamel. From dentist that messed my tooth, I broke the base of my tooth. I've regrown all of that, regrown the dentine. And so it's just one of the biggest rejuvenating elixirs on the planet. And some of the doctors that I, I see regarding my products, they will take the almost gold, but they'll prescribe the expensive one because they make more money <laughs> mm -hmm. on the expensive product that doesn't even work the same. But anyway, that's just what they do. So, so you have this yeah. product in your site, right? Yes, I do. Okay. I can't send it to you because it's in the liquid form, but I uh, think, you know, what's going to be moving on from now is that I will be having to teach people in the countries how to make it. I just want to get the dogs. We've got to make it and then we can use it. All right. Um, that would be very nice to teach us how to make it. Yeah, I think so. And um, 
there's going to be more i'll talk more about it when we do the nutrition okay okay so but just to tell you that this almost gold actually um puran is the female part that made us in the morphogenic field mm -hmm. okay it's the female part that made us there's yeah. almost in the morphogenic field okay that and um I'll, I'll tell you more about that as we go through the course okay and then here's this this time and space thing and and it's repeated with I Ching as well and um Desi also I mean she loves the Taoism part of things so she loves all the truths mm -hmm. um and this is where these particles are in constant motion and um when we have a look exactly right now with this chaos that's happening when we're getting the ecology and the environment and academics and education and spiritual and health and everything thrown in together all the pieces and are, are, are in vibration with each other uh, mm, dissolving yes. into each other and re-emerging dissolving in and re-emerging if i'm trying to create a picture for you and as that happens the golden mean comes into into more alignment more alignment more alignment into the new space there's the book but there's a newer there's and that's the older version but i just like the the paradigm shift thing there um science society and the rising culture and oh by the way i really like the solar revolution book as well um and simply because the sun is having one massive effect on our dna and on this paradigm shift so as i said to you you know um the COVID, the this the that those are in many instances um uh are very ego spaces they are real and some of them are damaging us but it's okay because the sun is pushing us our dna into the higher higher space so we need to just make sure that we detoxify and that we give our immune system the chance to repair and restore the dna all the time that almost gold allows the dna helix to unravel and to revel up again so when there's been radiation damage or toxicity damage it gives the dna the opportunity to unwind and rewind up properly and that rna dna product that i have are the protein building blocks in the double helix so the a must join with the g the c must join with the t and if you haven't got any thymidine you're going to have mm -hmm. a, a snip the the dna can't join so um that combination of the almost gold and the replica rna dna it's just a it's just a combination made in heaven and then i use also my live microbiome reset because that's got 120 live strains of beneficial bacteria fungi and yeast which imprint on our cells on our dna as well mm -hmm. so those three i just love 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 and then i make sure that we have the protein building blocks to make uh extra protein building blocks to make well neurotransmitters and um enzymes and um all, all the neuropeptides yes so that's i make sure those proteins are there and we'll talk more about that but right here and now the solar revolution what's happening is is those rays and those spurs and all the things that are coming through are actually i'm um, shifting our dna it's a great book um and then here's our illness to wellness and we've got to look at prevention the holistic well-being person and these are the factors like i said to you that are dissolving into each other and coming out more whole and dissolving into each other and coming out more whole and then once these are in good spin then we will be in the joyous happiness harmonious transcendence um living our purpose and some people have got about five of them already perfect but maybe they just need to work a little bit on emotional or intellectual something so a lot of people are the dynamic is is good already just taking it to the next level so we have the consciousness to alter the whole planet we have the hands to change things and we have the con consciousness to do it so it's a human thing this and then some of these you've seen already from the patterns of change and um the complexity so 
the complexity, the chaos that we're in right now, patterns are going to be emerging out of that, feedback coming back, more, com more complexity and more chaos, more patterns coming through. And this is kind of almost, um, you could take like Egyptian um, initiation spaces. So same with us and same with our patients. So they, um, they undergo experiences, incidences, defining moments. And out of that complexity and chaos needs to come a pattern that, that we can help them, which is what you're doing as well, reestablish and go to higher levels. And then there will be another complex chaos situation where we help them move to that higher level, similarly with ourselves. So it's quantum steps to higher, higher levels and achievement then ultimately of our purpose as humanity, uh, what we came here to do right now. And of course, just to reconfirm, the, the, the quantum space is, is non-linear. And that's what makes what we do fantastic. It's also non-biased what we do. So that nobody's going to be able to be able to do what we do in a hurry. Not not close. It's not going to happen. The Russians are not close. I went there. <laughs> All right. And more of this is going to make sense now when you start the chapters. So it's important that we do this first. All right. Systems thinking. So systems interconnected. The organization of matter into the right spin. Looking at the relationships between things. Money versus relationships versus spirituality versus the food we eat, blah, blah. All right, and, and, and we will get ordered and we will self-organize into the new paradigm, but it will be a higher frequency. So the system is always in perpetual renewal. The fractal will never repeat itself identically. Cannot, will not. And... Um, in our bodies, we've got an interconnection between the cells, the organs, the organisms, the group societies, and the worlds. Holding together. And this is just reconfirming Sufism um, and every, all the truths that are across, across the, the wise parts of the world, if you like. So, again, I just had this because I prepared it from before. Um, but it's important to, to bring it in here because um, uh, you see these parts here have got all names. But if we start looking at it from a paradigm shift, we can see that that could be spirituality, that could be ecology, that could be academics, that could be um, health, for example. So these things with, with little breaks, that things need to be fixed. Mm -hmm. Great model. Pure and it's a great model. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's that that brings us to um, you know lectures one and two, the old bringing in into the new, and then you'll read quite a lot there. So this is your my, 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 this is your um, file if you like. It's your it's yours to make notes to add. Um, if, if I'm doing a lecture like this, you take your notes, you put it in there as well, and then you keep, again, your PowerPoint, um, you know, ready and available. So, um, yeah, so I've given you there these um, six chapters to look at. Yeah. So what I think is... Um, Elizabeth can wait for us. I can ask her to wait. If you want to spend some time, I know she's also been busy. So you must give me a, a time, Piran, where we're going to meet again. Um, and we're going to do number three and four. And we're going to be looking at um, some of these medical models where we've spent 100 years re repairing and bringing in the humanity, the humanism into the model. Daisy's already done it, but just... So how many go. chapters did you re reverse now? So there's three for chapter one and three for chapter two. And then, um, and then we can move into module three. I'll present on module three and four, and then you can go and read those. So you just need to give me a time for yourself to get through these two. Yeah. And then I'll, I'll, I'll speak to Elizabeth as well. Okay. And then... Um, hmm. 
Next time mm -hmm. is not. We talk a lot about nutrition, quantum okay. nutrition, mm -hmm. and those optimum electron states. And um, and then we will go into pur purification of the body and um, the scalar space, and we will do immunity and genetics, and then we'll do um, – Right, our connection to natural rhythms, circadian rhythm, the cosmos. Um, by the way, I've, I've studied Sufism. I've got books on it. And there's a wonderful man, um, Tanner, who lives in New York. And he comes to South Africa. He's presented at my center, mm. actually. Yes. That's nice. So um, this is all going to relate. Mm -hmm. And we'll, yeah, we'll have a little, a little bit look at astrology. And then we're going to do... Um, the, the 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 branch of uh, Sufism which I am a student of, uh, the master is a physicist, quantum physicist. Oh, that's awesome! Professor Anger, and uh, he has lots of invention in quantum uh, healing. That is phenomenal. That is absolutely phenomenal. I think that we're going to see a rise of these people in the new paradigm because um, they've had to hold back. Timing wasn't right. You know, so the catch up is going to be quick. And then the last, um, the last one as well, I'm going to be looking at the golden age, 2030. Okay. 2032. Um, and um, the divine feminine, very important for people. Um, people uh, 70s, 60s, 50s, 40s, 30s, 20s. The women. Because the women are going to change right now. That the divine feminine is larger than life. And um, how 